welcome one and welcome all baby to America's channel a place for new beginners a place for sentimental growers a place where we are all about what's best for the orchid also how to save money Video, darling this is not trash these are things you can find around your home that you don't want to throw away now that you are growing orchids at home okay so we're going to go through some of the things in our home and talk about how we can use it for our phalaenopsis orchids okay starting with those jars that you get from your um from your jam, from your pasta, from your um, salsa, all of those glass um, containers, okay, that we get from the grocery store, you want to go ahead and keep those because you can use these to rehabilitate orchids by growing in the method of water culture, okay? This right here is a twist tie that you get on your bread, Okay, girl, don't you throw that back no more. Because what you can do is, if you don't have these clips, like I told my mom, you can use this to stabilize and train your flower spike. Okay, the same with this um, straw. If you don't have any stakes such as this, okay, then you can use a straw temporarily. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay, it's all about you. Okay, another thing is, you know, the, the, the things that you get from the syringes that you get from the children's medicine. You don't want to throw that away because when it comes to fertilizing orchids, you want to be very specific. Okay, so this is going to tell you milliliters as well as teaspoons. And you can find others as well, such as ounces. You want to keep that when it comes to mixing in all of those fertilizers. This right here that you might had from a previous project, you can use these as well to train, you know, flowers such as those dendrobiums with those big canes. Okay, you can use that for that. You can use this for when you are mounting orchids. All different reasons that you can use this for your phalaenopsis orchids. This right here, we can use this as a pot. You may or may not put holes in it, depending upon um, what's best for that orchid, okay? This is one of those old paint buckets, okay? And it is very effective growing Phalaenopsis orchids. All of the old tags that you get with your plants, you can write the name or you can write the date of on when you repotted it or the main thing is knowing how to place your Phalaenopsis orchid back in that same position for optimal growth, okay? That's what we're talking about, how to get our orchids to rebloom by using what we already have, okay? Some of us have already gone out and bought every fertilizer, everything that you've seen everybody else using. Girl, use what you already have first, okay? These little bottles that we might use in the summertime to keep ourselves cool or to put some hair conditioning on our hair, you can use these to mist your Phalaenopsis orchids as well as get rid of those freaking fungus nets. Oh my God, oh my God. These little stir sticks right here, coffee stirs, you can also write when the name of the orchid or when did you repot it. Something that is adequate to sit inside of your Phalaenopsis pot. You may also use it if you are growing in the method of water culture and you would like for the orchid to be able to sit above the um, water, okay? You can use it for that as well. These little clips that you get from um, your Phalaenopsis when you first buy it, do not throw those away because soon you will have not only three orchids, but you will have a hundred. Girl, I am not exaggerating. Stay Welcome tuned. on back. Please like this video. If this is your first time to this channel, please subscribe and ring the bell so you will be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. 
So it is so many things in your home that you can use to grow orchids at home. So this might have to be a part two video, okay? So this is galvanized wire that you might have had around the house. You can keep this to use to mount orchids, to hang orchids in baskets, all types of sorts, okay? So you don't want to throw that away. Oh, shoestrings, okay? You can keep these, and if you go on a long trip, okay, you can put them at the bottom of the pot and start yourself a self-watering system, okay? So don't throw away those old shoestrings. No, no, no. Don't you do it. Of course, the flower states that comes with the orchids when you initially purchase, go ahead and keep them okay keep as many as you can because i'm trying to tell you after you get your first orchid that second year you're going to buy at least 20 orchids okay out of those 20 orchids five of them okay sometimes maybe two but some of them will actually live and that is how your collection will begin to grow this toothbrush go ahead those dispensable toothbrushes or an older toothbrush you no longer want, you can use this to clean the base of your filing out of this orchid if it gets that black mold on it, okay? You know, old, uh, old school supplies. This right here that you put your pencils in, okay? You can actually um, plant a orchid inside of here, okay? And you can get you, you can get you some galvanized wire and you got you a hanging basket. Okay, I'm trying to tell you, you got it. If you have some um, activated charcoal from growing, you know, fish in an aquarium, you can actually use this to, um, as a potting media, you can use it to, um, you know, remove any types of salts and nutrients that was left over from the fertilizers growing in your orchids in water, okay? You can do that. I will leave a video link. I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you what I know. Okay, hydrogen peroxide. You can use this as a pesticide and fungicide. Anytime something goes wrong with your orchid, normally we use hydrogen peroxide. If we're not using hydrogen peroxide, we're using alcohol, okay? I'm trying to tell you, girl, there's so much stuff that you already got at your house. You don't have to go to repotme.com if you got the stuff already at your house. Save your money to buy more plants. This is how you get more plants, honey. Okay, do you want plant supplies or do you want the plants? I want the plants. So this right here is a, uh, you know, an old drinking bottle. You can actually cut this in half and you can make some holes at the bottom and around the side if you choose. And girl, you got you a good old pot. You got you a good old pot. My son, Val Pal, hey Zeus, okay? He is 16 years old, honey. He's been growing orchids since he was 10. And girl, his mama is not buying him pots. So he made his own pots. You got to be creative. This is the creative hobby. Now, as I was saying, this solo cup right here, honey, you can use this. This I'm actually about to pot a lot of my orchids into this because it's going to hold on to water longer, which will keep me from having to water my orchids so freaking much as well as it's the perfect size to fit inside of other pots okay it's the perfect size okay it's really long enough for you to be able to have that good root root development with your miniature phalaenopsis orchids these coffee filters you know for us people collecting rainwater off of the roof what you can do is use this coffee filter and pour the water through here to collect those extra sediments. Good old Epsom salt, honey. This is the number one trick in the game, honey. Epsom salt. Yes, it's good for soaking in some hot water and relieving those aches and pains in our body. But this is a great fertilizer for your phalaenopsis orchid when used adequately. Okay? As well as organic fertilizers, we have my eggshell calcium. Okay, this is crushed eggshells. I will leave a video link now and at the end of this video to let you know how you can use this as an organic fertilizer with your Phalaenopsis orchid. 
Valentine's Day just passed 2021. So many of us still have the vases that we got from our roses. Okay, you can use those vases to grow Phalaenopsis orchids inside of. So, please, like this video, leave in the comment box below some of the things that you use indoors for your orchids to grow that I did not mention in this video, okay? And I will give you a shout out in the next video. Well, Fab Pals, I hope that you have a happy growing. Until...